Hello, it's Paul. Kate I.O. I uh, built an antenna here. Thought you might be interested in it. Um, been talking to some people and they looking for maybe an antenna on a budget. Well, here you go. If you got a little time, I don't know if I necessarily had the time, but I decided to go ahead and knock one of these out. I've got one of these on 10 meters and I decided to build one for 11 because I need to I need an 11 meter antenna and it's a half wave I'm gonna stick it on my tower it ought to do okay all right here's the premise it is inch and a half PVC with a T connector in the middle and what I've done here is I wound a ballon to isolate the RF off the line using RG8X and if you look down inside the cable or in inside you can see what's commonly referred to as a dog bone insulator I, after I did that I thought gee I could have just used a piece of the PVC that I cut off of the initial antenna as I built it drilled a couple holes in the end and been done with it but hey what the heck um, this will eventually slide into here like this and that's how it'll mount I will clamp this part back to something on the tower uh, I'm going to stand this antenna a few feet off the tower probably four feet or more um, basically came down took a coupler a reducer to half inch half inch pipe comes down you can see just the end of the wire. I'm going to put a cap over that. Uh, I'm now on the other side of the antenna. You can see I come down to a connector. And these are the links. For some reason, the links got a little different. I, I put a center mark. And I got 99 inches that way, which is the ground end. And you'll notice I've got an arrow. Theoretically, this antenna could mount in either direction. I'm going to mount it vertically. And this is the center conductor side of the connector. So I'm going to point that up. And again, a coupler. And again, here we go. Okay, you can see the wire just in the end. I've got one of these caps that will go over the end. This wire laying on the floor is what I used in the middle. It is Romex, 12-2 with ground. You can see where I pulled the box of Romex out. There you go, 12-2. And uh, I've done these several different ways. Um, this ballon is 19 turns of RG8X. Uh, I measured it. It's 8.6 microhenries, which should give you about third, or I'm sorry, about uh, 13 or 1400 ohms at 27 megahertz. So that should effectively isolate the outside of the RF line. I've also used uh, choke type balance internal, not not the beaded chokes. I I think those are goofy, um, but the uh, uh, actual. Uh, like a W2AU, it's a it's a wire wound ballon inside, and I uh, tried those too. I might try a toroid sometime, but uh, that should handle a fair amount of power, since four watts <clears throat> is the legal limit, right, folks? Um, anyhow, there you go. That's my antenna. I will show you a video I took of it outside when it was on test. I'm just wrapping up the details on it. Thought you might be interested in it. Um, I tuned it using my uh, my handy dandy MFJ antenna analyzer. So there you go, my Sunday afternoon project. See you later.